everyone, so we're at Alton Park, uh, which is the end of the day on Saturday. So we've had qualifying today and our first race of the weekend, so we've got two races this weekend. Um, yeah, everything went really, really well. Uh, qualifying was a bit wet, so quite surprisingly, because the forecast was good. But um, we woke up this morning and it rained a little bit this morning and the track was still wet, so... Um, yeah, I wanted to try some things with this bike in on the wet setting because I've not done anything with the wet setting. I've basically left it as I got the bike. Um, but for here at Alton, because it's so undulating, it's so with a thousand cc bike, the, basically the bike just wants to wheelie and is out of control most of the time. So um, when it was dry for three practice one and three practice two, I was calming the power quite a lot just to get the bike just calmer and easier to ride. Um, so I wanted to do something for wet. Um, yeah, qualifying this morning. So I sort of guessed, based on my dry settings, I guessed for a good wet setting, um, calming the power and still having good traction control, good anti wheeling yeah, and good power. And um, I'm quite chuffed actually. I think what I guessed kind of worked really, really well. The bike felt absolutely great on track. So yeah, previously leaving it in the settings to run the bike, it was quite a bit of a handful. Um, and, and obviously that's exaggerated here, like I said. So. Yeah, I guess it's settings and it seemed to work, so I'm mega happy with that. So I'm probably going to save those settings now for when I go to a different track as well. Um, so yeah, the bike felt really good, really relatively easy to, easy to ride. I didn't have any moments or anything, so I think it probably could have gone a bit faster if I'd had a bit more time. But yeah, and then so for race, um, one today it, it dried up, so we had a dry race. So but I didn't get my best start, but I didn't get a bad start, so it was an okay start, even though I kind of had an aim to kind of jump a row if I could but anyway it went it went all right uh, got held up a little bit in the first few corners I think everybody kind of um Constantine in that sort of getting held up in the first few laps but um yeah it was all right I had, I had a mega good race uh, I had I was in a battle for the whole race chasing chasing the guy down so that always makes it fun you know when you, you're in with people and um, I had somebody chasing me down I think I had two behind me towards the end and then one of them tried to get ran outside of me the hairpin and then I didn't want to have any of it so I, I knew I needed to get past the guy in front to get away from the guy who's trying to nibble away at me at the, at the back so um, yeah so luckily I think a couple laps from the end I got past the guy in front of me and then just tried my best to get the hammer down and um, keep him behind me and keep the other guy behind me so yeah went really really well really good fun set my fastest lap on the last lap um, just from my lap time bike felt great and overall mega race just really enjoyed it really good fun so super happy with that so uh, now what I've done this evening is uh, basically come back and uh, look at the data just to see if we can see anything with the bike that I can possibly improve because I've changed quite a lot this weekend so we've changed quite a lot on traction control anti wheelie and power so it's the first time that I've taken power out of the bike um, just to make it like I said more manageable so uh, I thought I'd just show you a little bit of data login that I have. So, yeah, so what I can see from the, my race, the main thing that I, I want to see is um, my uh, traction control, my anti wheelie intervention on the bike and see if it's holding me back. So, I personally didn't feel like it was holding me back, it felt really, really good. Um, the bike felt dead safe, dead comfortable, easy to get on the throttle, and easy to drive away. Still got a few wheelies because you always get wheelies. Um, especially over, over hilltop and up Clay Hill, uh, down Warwick, on the Warwick Bridge as well, so, um, but yeah, we didn't feel too bad, all in all, really quite good, so anyway, but it's always good to come back and look at the data because you can think the bike's mega and you're happy with it, but there can always be things you can see that maybe would improve, so I've had a, a quick look and um, basically, if you can see, uh, I've got two throttle traces here, so the pink line is the throttle that I'm literally, I've literally asked for. So I've gone, like this is a good example, so here I've asked for full throttle, so 100% throttle, but the bike's not giving me that, it's giving me, there's a big chunk there that it's not giving me. Um, and that kind of miss in throttle kind of is correlating with my, seems to be correlating with my gear selection, so from third, as soon as I jump to fourth, um, that big chunk seems to come in here and looking at front and rear wheel speed um, it's not a massive difference so uh, if I just zoom in on that you can see there's like a few little tiny dips there 
which is the front wheel spinning at a slower speed than the rear wheel, meaning the bike's trying to wheelie or is wheeling. Um, but from third gear to fourth gear, and with that, there's not, there's not really any difference. But as soon as I click fourth, there's a massive difference in what the throttle's giving me. So, um, yeah, I think there's a chunk there. I'm losing a, you know, quite a little bit of speed, just literally in a straight line when I click up to fourth. So most of the corners here were in third gear on the exit or second. So, um, you know, I'd imagine it cutting, cutting in for me and maybe not giving me the throttle I asked for in second and third because I'm lent on the side of the tyre. But in fourth, I'm generally upright, um, so I'd kind of want, want that throttle. Um, so obviously I'm thinking I've set the anti-wheelie too strong for fourth gear, possibly fifth as well, I'm thinking. So, yeah, the bike's relatively upright. I'm not going to need that anti-wheelie or the traction as much. So yeah, looking at that, even though to me on track it felt fine, um, there's definitely speed, I'm missing a bit of speed there. Um, yeah, it's, like, it's quite hard to tell with speed. It's hard to tell if you're going, if you're going at 100, say 140 mile an hour, and the difference between 140 and 150 on a racetrack is quite hard to know that unless you're with somebody else. It's going that that extra speed. Um, if, because everything's rushing at you so fast anyway, it's quite hard to know that you're actually losing a little bit of speed. So it's always good to look at the data and go, ah, right, I think I could possibly gain a little bit of speed there. And it's completely free time. It's literally throttle opening. I don't have to do anything with that. It's just free, potential free bit of time there. No effort on my path. <laughs> just a little bit of bike setup. So I'm going to take out a bit of anti-wheelie and a bit of traction for that. And that, that area is basically coming out of Cascades. Um, along lake, along lakeside. So yeah, I'm basically clicking through the gears, obviously hitting fourth, and I'm completely in a straight line. So the bike might want to wheelie, but I think I'm happy if it does wheelie. And yeah, I just I think I'd want that bit of extra power. So yeah, that was quite cool to see that, and I noticed it later on in the lap as well, just here. So this is coming into. I think it's over start finish. Is it over start finish? Uh, so we got. Yeah, Ireland, Hairpin, down to Chicane, to Chicane, over Hilton. Oh, no, it's up over, up over Clay Hill, so big chunk I'm missing there as well. So, yeah, very similar thing. So the bike's possibly wheeling because the front wheel is going slower than the rear on the, on the trace there. And, um, again, it's when I click into fourth, so third gear, the throttle traces are generally matching each other. As soon as I click into fourth, which is there, they just go massively different. So clearly it's a issue. I've got too much traction or too much anti wheelie in fourth. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take a bit of that out and see how that goes for warm up. Um, in terms of that, in actual numbers in the table that I've applied for anti wheelie traction in each gear, the numbers actually, I think it's the same for fourth as it is for third. So it's quite weird that it makes such a difference um, in fourth, so this is something I'm just experimenting with, whether it's a rev an RPM thing or a gear thing, or there's something about fourth, that that value for the traction control anti wheelie is just kicking it off a bit random, so anyway, yeah, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> so I'm going to try, as I said, warm up, different map in the bike, and give it a go, and then I'll come back and have a look at, look at data and uh, see, see what that looks like. So yeah, cool, that's it for today and then yeah, back out tomorrow morning. So no, tomorrow afternoon, warm up and then race in the afternoon and then uh, yeah, see how we get on. Cool. Ah, 360 camera, 360 camera. Can you see if stolen then? Your uh, Callum Beaches. I'll do, I'll do. Right, I'll get mine out the back of the truck. Oh, 
Oh, Park. <laughs> Kids, you were Oh, Park. So yeah. I think this is, this is Cascades. Yeah. De- is this Denton's down to Cascades? I can't remember. You should know that. I've been here plenty of times. Yes. I have no idea. Um, yeah, so as you can see from the corner, uh, so we've come from Old Hall into this. It's really fast. So we're going to do comparison because obviously I'm on 1,000 cc. This is on... 300. 300. So there's a massive difference in kind of when we're tipping in and when we're shutting off for the next corner. Um, so this is really good. So if you're on a track day and you're on a 600, um, you know, you're going to be somewhere in between. If you're on a 1,000, you're going to be similar to me. If you're on a 300, you're going to be like Lizzie. Yes. So for me, I am, I come out of Old Hall, I'm flat out, I upshift to, I go around Old Hall, uh, sorry, Old Hall, yeah, in third, up to fourth, and then I'll literally shut off here, pretty much where the mar- Marshall's box is. If I'm a little bit brave, I'll go a little bit further than the Marshall's box, but generally I'm shutting off, I'm shutting off there. So I'm guessing for you. For me, you'd come out of Old Hall, you'd be fourth-ish, um, fifth, coming along here, and then you're still flat all the way through and then just I think it'd be quite a bit after the Marshall's post but not too far yeah you change down one just add a bit of break and turn and then, so you're but quite then, you, a bit. then you'd be flat in fourth all the way through yeah and you could probably get away with changing up as you're coming like as the revs rise changing up through as you're going through the as you're going through yeah so for me as I'm going through yeah, I think I'm I'm building speed as well, and I'll, but I'm probably coming out of the corner before I'll shift up. So, yeah, so there's a difference in approach speed to the corner. Um, you, Lizzie, Lizzie will go through the corner further than I will, and then carry a lot of speed down into into cascades, and then be picking the speed back up and changing up shifting through cascades. So it's quite a bit different to me. Um, yeah, so everything's kind of relative. So depending on what bike you. What bike you're on and what power you've got, uh, you have to judge it. <laughs> yeah, so cool, right, on to the next corner. So, we're coming up to Allen Bend. This is a mega corner on park, super fast. <laughs> super good fun. Um, but do, ooh, yeah, really fast left hander. It, like, unbelievably good fun. I bet it's fun on your bike. Yeah, flat. Flipping out. Flat. You come up here in six, change down one, you're straight back on the power and in and banked. Cool. It's amazing. Yeah, I remember when I, when I was a 125, I used to love this corner. It's mega. It's a bit of a beast on a on a down now, so, so that's why I've stopped. So it's really hard to see, but I don't know if you can. There's kind of a, like a rise in the track. Yeah. So our bikes will get a little bit unstable on that. Um, right on the turning point. Well, oh no, I think it's just shy of the turning point for me. Yeah, it's just for us as well. So I'll basically get over this, get over this little bit of a rise and then I'll break. So it'll either unsettle the front or unsettle the back, depending on if I'm, brave and still on gas or if I'm just about to break uh, but that's basically our my breaking point sort of so the, the further you can just get over this rise the better so it's and it's more stable if you can get over the rise as well because if you kind of break on the rise obviously you're upsetting the bike so we'll try and stay flat if I'm brave I'll try and get over the rise and then I'll break for Ireland but yeah I'm sure you're like a lot later yeah quite yeah. a bit not too much later though to be fair obviously I've not hmm. It's very difficult to judge when you're on a push bike. Yeah, but when you're tramping on the speed as well, yeah, trying to yeah, judge your, exactly. your thinking goes like out the window. Yeah, much. no, it wouldn't be far off at all from here. Yeah, is where I'd shut off and yeah, come down one and then tip in. Well, the banking will help you slow down and it'll keep the banking will keep you in the corner so you can just rally around it so fast um yeah it's definitely a great hairpin you sound like you've been loving it <laughs> i love this hairpin so much it's so cool because you like because you know it's so bang it's similar to anglesey but i don't like anglesey yeah it's so similar to anglesey it's second corner at anglesey i've said anglesey about six times um because well, you know 
it's banked, you can just slap it in. Yeah. No, like, no remorse whatsoever. Yeah. Straight in. Not here, there's not really a line. You just take it. Yeah. Not on our bikes anyway, as long as you're over on that, that side of the track. Yeah. You can get the sweep. Yeah. yeah. So for us, uh, out of his asses, we're yeah, trying to get on the power as soon as you can. So I'm, that's one of my weak points actually, I'm a bit slack on the power. Um, just because I feel like I'm lent over quite a lot on the right. And then coming up here, we definitely have to have a line up here. So we'll go right out to the white line on the right so that we can cut back um, over to the left hand side of the track. And then again, we're throwing gears at this just to try and keep the bike stable. So. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the bike. My legs are going to give up. <laughs> on the rise of this this hill, uh, the bike wants to wheelie. So we'll short shift up to fifth just to try and dull the revs a bit and um, yeah, try and not have such a big wheelie. Just so you can keep the power on. It's that thing again of going forward, not upwards. So. <laughs> yeah, and then so we'll basically clip this curb and then we'll run right out to the grass. Um, it's quite fast, so you've got to have, be quite precise in your line. Yeah, this is, I reckon this is one of the best corners on the track, it's amazing. Is it even that bumpy or is it just the fact that I'm it a bit with on the Fair play, use all the track. <laughs> well, I paid for it. Well, I didn't pay for it. There's no brakes here. There is no brakes. So this is uh, Druids at Alton Park. Mega corner, double apex. So we'll be braking on the kink left back there um, into here and then just try and let it run through. So I'm still kind of on the brakes to the first apex and then I'll let go of the brake after I've got run through it and then just try and get on the power to the second apex and over the rise on the exit. Absolutely mega corner, absolutely love it. Just don't get it wrong, because I've turned in here thinking it's just one whole, one massive swoop. Yeah. And then got to here and gone, I'm going straight over that grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's ace, because you literally, you hit the first bit, run right out, out wide to the left and back in at the right. Oh. No, I'll come over here. And um, because you're obviously you're honestly like flat and forth. Yeah. And as I've changed gear, I've changed gear just to this peak and it's just gone probably over the thing. Cool. So I doubt it actually came off the floor, but it just got a bit light. Yeah. And um I got I got a photo for here that I was on the programme at Pembury and it's literally just me going up like this. Keep like, it down. Trying to keep it like to 300 you got like you shouldn't have to be doing <laughs> from Olsen, uh, all unloaded, so the bike's back in the workshop. Um, yeah, I had a really good second race and got a mega start this time, really, really good, and uh, made up a couple of places, so that was cool. And then um, uh, just had a good race, got stuck in, and um, it's kind of similar to Saturday where I was chasing another guy down and then luckily managed to sneak past him towards the end, so it was really cool. Lap time was better, really, really good, so happy, dead happy. Bike seemed mega. Uh, the little changes I made to uh, fourth and fifth gear, I think they were better. Um, so I'm going to download the late data again and have a look, see if I got rid of that um, like chunk of where the throttle, what I was asking for with the grip, didn't match up to what it was giving me. It was giving me quite a lot less. So hopefully that worked. It's, it felt good on track. It felt quite fast. So hopefully that worked and yeah, everything cool. So like I say, bike's back in the workshop. So there's a few little jobs to do on it before Donington and then yeah, that's it. I'll uh, have a look at the data and see how that looked and let you know how that went on. Um, yeah, really happy, like dead happy to 
have local round and do all right. So yeah, well happy and looking forward to Donington. <laughs>